like a good example, but you know, just for example, if your mum bakes healthy muffins every weekend, right? And you just look forward to buy eating those healthy muffins every weekend. But then all of a sudden, uh, outside your work, a Cinnabon opens and they have these super sugary, expensive cinnamon rolls, which you decide to buy um, every Friday. And now your mum's muffins taste like crap because you're exposed to the delicious Cinnabons. I feel like that is like me buying Hermes bags and then like wanting to buy a coach bag. It's like I've already been exposed to like this fancy leather and e exceptional finishes and all that like and then going back to and trying to get excited about a coach bag it's it doesn't feel the same hey guys welcome to my channel i'm jess if you love shopping and handbag videos please like and subscribe to my channel so first off guys i'm still sick actually but i really wanted to film a video just to get my mind off my virus it's not um you know the c word but i um i'm yeah i think my body is just fighting it off yeah, I, I don't know, I feel like I'm starting to regain my energy again, so I thought I'd quickly film a few videos and then go back to bed. I was just wanting to talk about my feelings towards buying handbags and how I've been reflecting on my handbag purchases over the last, uh, well, few years to be honest, because I recently watched a video by the Gals Guide and I have just actually recently discovered her channel and it's really, I mean, she's so cute and I love her uh, bags and style and she recently uploaded a video called um, My Coach Collection. She has around 16 coach bags and Coach is a brand that when I first started getting into fancy handbags, it was one of the first brands that I got into. I bought a few coach bags actually on the pre-loved market and sometimes I wish that I stopped there because the reason why I started to buy more expensive bags is because I actually got a job working in luxury retail and I'm gonna be honest guys if I didn't get a job working in Celeron because I actually worked there for a while and I worked in a few other luxury boutiques I don't know if I would have ever um kind of trained myself to spend over a thousand dollars on a handbag i think what really pushed me to spend uh thousands of dollars on a handbag was being exposed to basically that every day selling handbags that were thousands of dollars and seeing people around me spend lots of money on bags every day it definitely made me feel like it was a normal thing to do not only that but i think youtube and social media subconsciously affected me and encouraged me to spend lots of money on designer bags and I suppose what I'm trying to say here is when I watched the girl's guide video on her coach handbag collection I had this like longing feeling that of wishing that I really just stuck to coach you know like I really wish that I just collected contemporary bags and then I didn't get ahead of myself and go into Chanel bags and Hermes because the price range is just insane compared to coach you know i really appreciate some of coach's designs i think they're really fun yes the quality is probably not as good as you know more expensive brands but i recently went to the coach store in australia and they have a few of those cute shaped bags i know winnie blv has a fish one and i just really like i i tried on some of those bags and i tried on the silver star and it was it's still six hundred dollars right so for me it's still a lot of money and because i already have so many nice hermes bags in my head i'm thinking like why would i buy a coach bag um because it's just like i have so many other nice bags at home it's just like pointless for me to buy other brands because not only is it going to take up space in um, my, my handbag shelf but also it's still a lot of money right but if I had never bought Hermes bags or Chanel bags or Louis Vuitton bags and I really just c collected a small collection of coach bags then maybe I would have bought this bag guys because the thing is coach is such a friendly a price point where <clears throat> if you have collector's tendencies if you're into buying handbags I think it is smarter actually to just buy 15 coach bags as opposed to buying 15 Hermes bags, which that stance may surprise a lot of you, me saying that, but the truth is guys, if you really want to enjoy and use your bags, 
it's sometimes better to spend less on a bag. I know a lot of people say Hermes bags are investments, Chanel bags are investments, but the truth is if you really want to wear your bags and enjoy them and carry them, I don't know, to Disneyland or wherever, like outside in the rain, you'd much rather do that with a bag that costs $600 as opposed to a bag that costs $10,000, right? I know I would for me anyway, unless you are like a really, really, really wealthy person, which I'm not, which I mean, a lot of you guys might think like you obviously are, but I'm, I'm, I'm not. It's just that I've been able to collect a lot of nice bags over the past few years because well, a lot of my bags I sold, I, I used to have coach bags, I sold my coach bags, I had Louis Vuitton bags, I sold all my Louis Vuitton bags, I sold my Chanel bags, and I bought Hermes bags with the funds that I had from other bags. I kind of like went up the ladder a little bit. And I know there are people out there who have Hermes bags and they still buy new coach bags and that sort of thing, but... I feel like now that I have experienced Hermes and the quality and how beautiful the leathers are and the colours, it's hard for me to, like, justify buying anything else because I still, deep down, would rather buy an Hermes bag or put the money or put the $600 towards, like, another Mini Evelyn or something. Instead of buying five coach bags, I would rather buy a Mini Evelyn. But if I really just stopped my handbag journey at coach, I wouldn't have this mindset where I'm like spending so much money on one bag and at the end of the day it's just a bag and if you want to wear and use it it's still gonna wear out and it's still gonna you know if you're not planning on selling it it's not really an investment anyway and I sometimes feel like buying Hermes it kind of like I don't know if this is like a good example but you know just for example if your mum bakes healthy muffins every weekend right and you just look forward to buy eating those healthy muffins every weekend but then, all of a sudden, uh, outside your work, a Cinnabon opens, and they have these super sugary, expensive cinnamon rolls, which you decide to buy um, every Friday. And now, your mum's muffins taste like crap, because you're exposed to the delicious Cinnabons. I feel like that is, like, me buying Hermes bags, and then, like, wanting to buy a coach bag. It's like, I've already been exposed to, like, this fancy leather and e exceptional finishes and all that like and then going back to and trying to get excited about a coach bag it's it doesn't feel the same but I know when I started out on my handbag journey coach was so exciting to me and I was just like to buy a coach bag was amazing and and I felt the same way about buying a coach bag back then as I do about buying an Hermes bag now like now that I like buying Hermes bags it's like because they're so beautiful and I appreciate all the details but if I didn't know any better I could just be buying coach bags and spending a lot less money so in a way I kind of wish that I didn't get used to spending so much money on a handbag I kind of wish that I didn't train myself to keep spending more and more money on handbags because the truth is that's exactly what happened to me I went from you know, buying Samantha Thavasa and Kate Spade and then Coach and then I got into Celeron and Gucci and Louis Vuitton and then Chanel and Hermes and, you know, now that I'm at the top, I'm realising that, you know, I actually don't feel that much happier with when I buy a Hermes bag as opposed to at the beginning of my handbag journey when I was buying a Coach bag. Like, I actually, if anything, enjoyed those a Kate Spade and coach bags more because I actually threw them around and I didn't I wasn't as like careful with them because the the fact is they're a lot cheaper and they're a lot more you know trendy and fun and you can get like you know I used to have this Kate Spade ladybug bag that I loved and I had this croc embossed big Kate Spade pink tote which I loved and they're kind of like trendy things that you can't that I just you know it's, I've, I've kind of grown up and I've I've become beyond that but in a way, I kind of wish I was still back at stage one because that was really fun. I was not spending as much money back then. The truth is, I was saving a lot of money back then because there were bags that were not as expensive. You could pick them up secondhand for dirt cheap as well. And I was still enjoying handbags and I was still collecting handbags, but it wasn't like costing me thousands of dollars like it is now. So I don't know. I guess what has made me reflect so much on this is that 
I've really been practicing trying to buy less and the truth is I have bought in the last few months a few other Hermes bags that are not Birkins and Kelly's but I have been stagnating showing those bags. I didn't want to share them yet because I really want to enjoy the stage of buying a bag from Hermes and I really want to, I don't want to like get a bag, unbox it and then move on so fast anymore. I really want to slow down my purchasing of handbags. I know that is going to take some time because I did go through a phase of buying multiple bags every month and I'm still kind of doing that. I'm still buying like one bag a month which is really bad when you're spending so much money. I'm really trying to untrain myself in doing that and really reflect and look at like where did this start like where did this shopping obsession start and it really I think what really spurred it on was me working in luxury retail and uh watching so many YouTube videos of other people unboxing expensive bags and maybe it was some other like deep insecurities I had as well like a distraction from my inner turmoil or whatever it could be something like that as well but you know, I think if I never worked in luxury retail, if I never looked at people unboxing Louis Vuitton bags online, if I never had the idea that I needed to buy a Chanel bag, then I probably would have never done that. And I probably would have saved so much money and still felt a lot of joy out of buying a cute little star-shaped coach bag, right? Like, but now I just, I can't go back to that because I know too much. I, I've already collected so many expensive bags. How can I go and then spend another $600 on a bag that it might just sit there and it might take up space. Like, I, I can't go back to that because I... <sighs> I just, I just don't want to keep going. And I don't, I also don't want to get addicted to Coach, guys. Because although Coach is cheaper, it still adds up as well, you know. I think it's fine to just collect Coach bags. I think that will be a much friendlier choice than collecting Hermes or Chanel bags. But I, I can't see myself collecting Hermes and Coach bags and, like, Louis Vuitton bags. Which I know a lot of people do. But I just know that I can never stop at one. And just from my track record of, you know, be, being obsessed with things, I just, I can't just buy one thing guys I, if I buy that coach star bag I'll probably buy the fish as well like let's face it guys like I just I can't stop at one so that's why I can't buy coach but I really wish honestly that I just stuck to coach I really wish that I just kept my spending limit at a thousand dollars per bag because that would have saved me so much money I really think I still would have enjoyed handbags just as much um I would still be oblivious to you know, what it's like to have a Birkin, yes. And I suppose in hindsight, the only reason I've realised this now is because I've bought so many bags and I've realised that the feeling is the same when you buy a super expensive bag compared to a fun novelty piece that's like $600 as opposed to $6,000. I've realised that the feeling is very similar. But I don't think I needed to spend so much money on bags necessarily to realise that. I mean, you kind of do because now I kind of realise it. Um, and I don't know if this realisation within myself would stop me from buying more Hermes bags. Because the truth is, guys, I still really like Hermes bags. But I kind of wish that I never, like, trained myself to get to this level. Now, you can go higher as well. You can start collecting exotics. You can start collecting fine jewellery. You can start collecting watches and cars. And that's something that I don't dare to do. I'm sorry, guys. I have had people on my channel say, Jess... You've collected so many bags now, why don't you get into fine jewellery, like VCA, Cartier, all that. I just, I can't do it to myself, guys, because I know if I go down that path, if I start buying, like, Rolexes and whatever, like, it's just, it's just a recipe for disaster. I just, I would rather not go there, okay? I would rather be naive and never know what it's like to own a Rolex or have a VCA sweet El Lombard necklace or whatever. I just, I just don't want to go there, guys. I just know that... It's just not going to be a good good story. I just know where it's going to go. I'm going to become obsessed. I'm going to want to buy more jewellery. And it's never going to end. And then I would have spent like another $40,000 on like some random jewellery. So I just don't want to go there. And I know that, you know, it took me this long to realise that it doesn't matter how expensive a thing is. It doesn't mean it's going to give you more happiness. And it doesn't mean that it's actually going to be better for your lifestyle or elevate your look or anything to be honest I think Hermes bags are beautiful I think they're timeless I do think that it can last you a lifetime sometimes but um I didn't really need to buy this many bags let's be honest guys I could have probably got a similar kick out of buying coach bags and I kind of wish that 
I just stuck with that. Or even just Kate Spade, because Kate Spade is really cute. To be honest, I think Kate Spade is more my style than Coach. Um, yeah. So anyways, guys, do you ever, like, reflect on your spending habits and are kind of shocked by, like, how far you've come or, like, how far you've pushed it? And have you ever reached a point where you've, like, stopped shopping and then you kind of pair it back and start collecting contemporary bags again and then stop spending so much money on single handbags because I think that you know a lot of people have a limit to how much they'll spend to a bag but for me I, I've really pushed that limit to, for myself and I don't know if I want to push it any further I think I'm starting to reach a point where I'm like oh I really don't think spending more, even more money on a handbag will make me happier I actually think that I need to um take a breather like you know really enjoy my purchases really uh prolong the unboxings really as uh, you know make it a special event to buy a bag instead of you know making it a part of my normal routine because that is really how it's become and I'm just I guess you know this video might be irritating to listen to but I am trying to recognize that and um yeah rein it in a little bit and yeah, I don't know guys, I guess I do wish I just collected coach bags because that would have that would have saved me a lot of money. But I don't know if I can really go back there. I don't know if I could spend money on coach bags again because it's still a lot of money. And given that I already have a lot of nice bags, it just doesn't really make sense. So anyways, thanks for watching my video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!